my name is Connor Falk. I work with Daniel Frank Sedwick LLC, and I'm a collector of Mexican banknotes. Uh, one area of collection, collecting that I particularly enjoy is those of the American Banknote Company. The American Banknote Company uh, produced a number of many different notes for Mexico throughout the 1800s into the 1900s. And this talk is entitled Vignettes of American Banknote Company, Artistry Across Decades of Mexican Banknotes. The history of Mexican currency begins with the gold and silver coins that were widespread in circulation during the colonial period of time. Uh, these were the most trusted form of uh, commerce, uh, of circulating coinage, that the uh, people trusted that these coins would hold their value rather than trusting any sort of uh, banco or government entity to uh, back their, their value. Uh, the paper money of Mexico was introduced uh, within uh, a year of independence. You have the uh, Empire of Iturbide that issued several uh, denominations, initially using uh, papal bull paper. You can see here there is one that's been uh, displayed with the denomination side on one area. And then you have the papal bull on the reverse. Uh, later on, they made their own banknotes uh, much smaller and without having to reuse paper. We have an example of that over here with the 10 pesos. Now, it wasn't until the 1860s that banknotes really began to catch on with the uh, populace, that uh, banknotes began to circulate and be printed. Uh, the initial forms of paper money in that time period would have been through uh, mining companies or uh, mercantile companies, even pawn shops would have their own notes produced at that time period, purely as a form of facilitating commerce within their own business area. We have an example here of a 50 centavo specimen produced by the American Bank Note Company. And this dates to the early 1870s. It has a mining scene on it in the vignette. Uh, the American Bank Note Company also produced the National Pawn Shop series of notes. Uh, but the majority of notes during this early time period of the 1860s were those by local printers or even done by the uh, entity itself, oftentimes uh, very crude in nature, but they were intended to uh, do trade and nothing less. The American Banknote Company has a very storied history, uh, not just within Mexico, but across the world. They were one of the predominant manufacturers and designers of banknotes. They began in 1795 by Robert Scott, along with his business partners, Murray Draper and Fairman. They formed their company as a means of providing security banknote and bond paper printing services. They began rather humbly and over time expanded. In 1858, multiple firms, all producing uh, security devices for print uh, products, uh, organized together to form the American Bank Note Company. Uh, the remainder of the companies then uh, consolidated to form the National Bank Note Company shortly thereafter, a competitor to the American Bank Note Company. The American Bank Note Company really began to enter the stage of banknote printing with the Greenback series of legal tender notes during the Civil War period. Uh, they, alongside the National Bank Note